So here we have entry test MCQs relevant to these entrance examinations. That dimensional formula of universal gravitational constant is. As we know that the universal gravitational constant is equal to 6.67 10 raised to power minus 11 Newton meter square divided by kilogram square. As we know that the Newton is equal to kilogram meter per second square. So we can write this as kilogram meter per second square meter square divided by kilogram square. And if I pull this kilogram and this second from the denominators into the numerators, the equation will be like, so the final units will be kilogram raised to power minus one, meter raised to power three, and second raised to power minus two. If we convert these SI units into a dimension symbols, it will be like m raised to power minus one, L raised to power 3 and T raised to power minus 2. So A is a right answer. I explain this MCQs in detail to give you an idea about unit convergence, power convergence and the symbol convergence. Must do practice of these type of MCQs and you will be able to solve them in 45 seconds. So here we have our entry test MCQs relevant to these entrance examinations and favorite of NIST, GIK, PIAS, MCAT, MDCAT. The dimensional formula of a constant A in Van der Waals equation is so we can solve this MCQs with the help of same hints and tricks that I have just explained before. And the hint and trick is concentrate on required constant. In this case, the required constant is A. And the quantities adding subtracting with this constant. As terms can be added subtracted only if they having same units and dimensions. So in this case, the pressure and this factor will having the same units and dimensions. So I can write it as pressure is equal to A divided by V square. And as we know that in Van der Waal equation, this P is representing the pressure and this V is representing the volume. As we know that the units of pressure is Pascal which is Newton per meter square and the units of volume is meter cube and here we have a square on it. We can write this Newton as kilogram meter per second square divided by meter square is equal to A divided by S to 3 zero 6. If we shift this meter raised to power 6 here then it will be like kilogram meter dot this meter raised to power 6 divided by second square meter square is equal to a this meter square with this will cancel out and we are left with kilogram meter raised to power 5 and second raised to power minus 2 is equal to A. If we write these units into their dimension symbols, it will be like M1 meter L raised to power 5 and for this S we write as T raised to power minus 2 is equal to A. So A is the right answer. I just explained this explanation in detail. Otherwise, you can solve this in 40 seconds. So here we have a very important MCQs regarding entry test point of view. And it is relevant 
to these entrance examinations, especially NERST, GIK, PIAS, MCAT, MDCAT. The equation of wave is given by this, where omega is an angular velocity and v is a linear velocity. The dimensions of k is, so we have a hint and trick to solve these type of MCQs. There is no need to solve this whole equation to get the dimensions of k. So the hint is concentrate on required constant only. In this case the required constant is k. And quantities adding subtracting with this constant. In this case this x divided by v is subtracting from this constant. As terms can be added subtracted only if they have same units and dimensions. So it's mean that they having same units and dimensions. So I can write it as x by v is equal to k. Here x is representing a distance which is in meters and v is representing a linear velocity and it is in meter per second. This meter meter will cancel out and we are left with second. And if I write this second into its dimensional symbol then it is t. So a is the right answer. And you can solve these type of question with these hints and tricks in 45 seconds. So here we have an entry test question and that was in Aga Khan University entrance examination 2015 that from this equation, an equation is dimensionally correct, find the dimensional formula for B where P is equal to pressure and V is equal to volume. So this MCQs can be solved with the help of same trick that we have just discussed and the trick is that we will concentrate only on our required constant and the physical quantities that are adding or subtracting from it. It's mean that this volume having the same dimensions as this B constant. So we can write it as V is equal to B. So in case of volume, its units are in meter cube. And if we write this meter into a dimension symbol, then it will be L raised to power 3. But the answer is in the form of MLT. So in this case, M is raised to power 0, L is raised to power 3, and T is also raised to power 0. As something raised to power 0 is equal to 1. So in this case, A is the right answer. So look, I have just solved this entry test MCQs in 45 seconds with the help of hints and tricks which I have just explained in previous MCQs in detail.